materiality of our reality. Now I have two hands corresponding to the left and right hemispheres of my brain. With the one hand, I am drawing circles in the air, and the other, I'm counting time. Each hand tells its own story, and if we take these hands to represent two different visions of our genesis, on the one hand, we are spherical, and on the other, numerical. Now this world is not as stable as you think. Even though I can sense my feet balancing on the ground, I know that it is not as solid as it seems. We are balancing on a massive sphere which is whirling through the universe at 12,000 miles an hour. And it's getting bigger. Our universe is expanding, swelling like a cosmic fruit by a billion billion cubic light years every day. And if it's getting bigger, it must at some stage have been a lot smaller. What was the initial spark which ignited our cosmological story? What are the spores of our creation? Are we the result of hundreds of thousands of years of evolutionary processes? Or are the origins of life to be found in an ephemeral dance of numbers? Human intelligence has spawned many different explanations about how we are here. Either we are the product of physical forces meeting, colliding and exploding into life. Or the universe is digital and we are running off a cosmic computer. Are we solar or data? Do we live in the sphere of our memories or as hosts for artificial life forms? If you are looking for definitive answers to the question of the origins of life, you won't find them here because we are mixing our realities and blending systems because we know that the world is not solid or singular or flat. Living is round. So if you want to know how it begins, we have already left behind the territory in which we were. Perhaps we are becoming that far territory where we want to be. Or maybe we're still learning how to walk on a sphere.